Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Little Bookish Teacher, and today I have a middle grade review title for you. The Ghoul in School, which is part of The Breakfast Club Adventures, written by Marcus Rashford and Alex Fallais Coyer, and illustrated by Marta Kissy. This book was very kindly sent to me by Pan Macmillan Australia. It was an unsolicited review copy. I had not heard of this title before it arrived, and it was a really fun read. So I'll start with a synopsis for you. So it says, there's something strange going on at school. Rutherford School's basketball team is on a losing streak. No matter what they do, the scoreboard is stuck on zero. A ghostly figure has been seen haunting the gym and there are rumours that the team might even be cursed. Luckily, the Breakfast Club investigators are on the case. After struggling to solve their last few cases, Marcus feels like this is the group's last chance to prove themselves. But with their arch rivals at the journalism club also looking for clues and their strict head teacher keeping watch, it won't be easy. Can Marcus, Lise, Stacey and Asim unravel the mystery before the tournament final? Or will the pressure pull the friends apart? Now this is actually the second book in the Breakfast Club Adventures. And as I said, I had not heard of it before. And I was really intrigued because I am always on the lookout for books that might engage boys in particular. And this seemed like it might be one that would fit the bill because not only does it feature sport, the main character Marcus loves to play football or soccer, depending on where you are in the world. And the book also features the basketball team. So there's a lot of sport involved in this book, but it does also feature kids with very varied interests as part of the breakfast club. And the general gist of what I understand of the story is that all of these characters came together because they're part of the breakfast club investigators. And that's sort of where their friendship stemmed from. So this book has mystery elements to it, obviously, but it is also about friendships and how you maintain friendships in high school and sometimes the stress that kids feel that if they are not able to do the same things as their friends that they won't stay friends and that's definitely Marcus's concern. He has very he has a very supportive mother in this book. There is a big emphasis on reading being something that is done for enjoyment and is an important part of people's lives. The friendship representation is fantastic and when the rest of the Breakfast Club figure out that Marcus feels like they won't want to hang out with him anymore. They're the first to reassure him that that's definitely not the case. And it was quite fun because a lot of the characters thought that there were supernatural elements to this mystery that they're trying to solve. And also they have to sort of overcome their rivalry with the journalism club and realize that just because they're in two different groups doesn't mean that they can't help each other. And I really appreciated that. While this primarily is a chapter novel, there are some little illustrations throughout the book to emphasize different scenes and different characters, which makes it really fun and engaging. Marcus Rashford is an international footballer and plays for Manchester United, I believe. I'm not very with it when it comes to international football, so or any football in general, but it was really nice to read this story and to see something that has such positive representation for, for kids in this age group, who love sport, who love mysteries, who are not just pigeonholing themselves into one category. So thank you very much again to Pan Macmillan for sending this my way. I will be passing this on to my school library and recommending it to a few kids who I think will find it really interesting. I will leave links to where you can find out more information about this book and the series and the authors down below. If you've read this book or the first book in the series and you'd like to talk to me about it, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments or if you just want to let me know that you're here, feel free to leave a football emoji down below. I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.